in Dhinkia near the Odisha coast, the first stirrings of protest begin at dawn. In less than an hour, more protesters will arrive. A daily ritual, some walking for more than three kilometers from their villages. To reach this site, promised by the Orissa government to a giant South Korean steel company for a steel plant and port. They know the eyes of not just the nation, but even the world media is on them as they repeat in their slogans the reason for their agitation. FOSCO presents a sum of every debate over land acquisition. The debate over mega projects versus smaller ones. The debate over mining or high-level corporate diplomacy and the debate over the nature of what we define as development. But is it possible to go beyond the ideologies and the rhetoric to look at the facts, the ground realities? In India Matters, we travel to Dhinkia and Govindpur to bring you the POSCO story from ground zero. We're on National Highway No. 5, which leads out of the capital Bhuvneshwar to the port town of Paradeep in Jagatsingpur, the district which has become the epicenter of the agitation against POSCO. Suddenly, the four-lane highway converts into a narrow two-lane road. The other two lanes blocked by trucks stuck in an endless jam. The freight they're carrying, mostly iron ore, from mines in Odisha's hinterland, making its way to the port, moving at a nightmarishly slow crawl. Not surprising then that one of the key parts of the POSCO deal with the Odisha government includes a dedicated port, which will allow POSCO to export its steel without such delays. The POSCO deal signed with the Urisa government in June 2005 is a massive one. Its $12 billion foreign direct investment over 30 years is record-breaking. But so is what they get in return. Their own port here at the mouth of the Jatadha River, just 10 kilometers away from the National Paradeep port. A steel plant in a township to go with it on land which is under cultivation and captive mines of iron ore 600 kilometers away in the Khandadar hills in Sundargarh. Six years after it was signed, every part of the deal stuck in litigation or protests. The dedicated port, perhaps the most contentious issue, which unites a diverse group of people. Even the chairman of the Paradeep port has said on record that Paradeep can handle POSCO's needs, a separate port not needed. NDTV's Cricket App Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com/apps.